In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new UI calendar view component announced in WWDC 2022 this morning. We'll take a look at what it looks like and what customization features Apple has exposed for us. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, you guys know the drill. Let's open up Xcode 14 beta here, create a new project and take a look at this component. So we're gonna stick with the iOS tab up here, the app template, and this is a part of UI kit. So we wanna stick with Storyboard and Swift here. And I'll creatively call this calendar example and I'll attempt to not make typos today. So we'll save this to our desktop. And first things first, I'll close this right panel. We don't need it. We're gonna jump into our view controller and create a function here called create calendar. And we'll call this from view to load. Before we actually create that calendar, let's also pick a simulator from up here. We'll stick with the 13 Pro, give it a run, and we should see our simulator pop up here. And we've got a pretty nifty empty application. Now, for those of you who have used or brought in a calendar component into your app, you might be familiar with FS Calendar. It's kind of a bulky framework to bring into a project, so it's pretty nice that it's included now in UI kits. So the way we create it is just like any other UI kit component. So I'm gonna say our calendar will be a UI calendar view like so. And we're gonna to want to add this to our view hierarchy with the add sub view call. We are also going to uh, apply some constraints to lay this guy out. So we'll set that property. Now calendar specific, we want to supply a number of uh, pieces of information. So first and foremost, we can supply the actual calendar. So maybe I'll uh, rename this guy to calendar view so it's not confusing here. But the calendar essentially here is, you know, what type of actual calendar do we want? Generally, you'll stick with current, but of course you can stick with something like calendar and you can supply the actual identifier, something like a Gregorian calendar, for example, but you generally want to meet your users where they are, so we'll supply current. Next up, we also want to supply a locale. Once again, we can do current or actually create a specific one. We can also customize the font design, and I've been playing with these for the past uh, hour or so, and I feel like the rounded one is what uh, most people will end up using since it looks the nicest. Now, similar to most components where you have some level of interaction capability, there is a delegate, and there's actually three delegates, which is not evident by how Apple has uh, named things. So if we type out delegate, you'll see there is a standard delegate, a single date selection delegate, and a uh, selection multi-date delegate. So presumably, you know, if you wanna select one date, if you wanna select a range, and the standard delegate has, I believe, a single function on it for supplying decorations for the calendar view. So you can think of these as um, pinned uh, annotation views around your delegate, or around your calendar view, I should say. So we'll return nil here. And if we take a look at the other functions here, so we have the UI calendar selection uh, delegates, and we'll stick with the single one and just peek at it before we run the app on the right hand side. So in this delegate, of course, we have two simple uh, methods that we expect to see for our selection, nothing too crazy. But let's go back here and uh, get rid of this so the error goes away. And let's actually give this a run. So what I need to do is let's apply some constraints here. So I'll come down here and say NS layout constraint. And we are going to activate some constraints. So I'll say leading anchor is constraint view. Leading anchor will add a bit of space there. So we'll add a constant. We'll do the same thing for the trailing anchor. This should be now negative. And bear with me while I add the Y axis constraints. So here we'll say calendar view and we'll maybe give it a height anchor to make things a little faster of 300. And then we'll also do calendar view. Top anchor will be constrained to the views, safe area layout guide. We'll say view, safe area layout guide. Top anchor, give this guy a run and literally is as simple to bring a calendar into your application. Now what's pretty cool is obviously you can swipe as you would expect. And if you actually want to see the picker, you can just hit the little arrow here and you can actually quickly jump to, let's say, 
we want to jump to 2010 December for whatever reason. And we can once again click this and we are now in December 2010. There are a few other properties I'd like to call everyone's attention to. So if I jump into this, you'll see there are a couple different properties and functions on here, mainly to set a visible date component. So you can specify a week. You can also specify, you know, if we want a decoration um, there, as well as one other important bit here, which is the available date range. So perhaps you wanna allow someone to put their birthday in, chances are they're not born tomorrow, so you can also do that. Or if you have an app that restricts a user's minimum age, um, but other than that, essentially, this is a pretty standard UI kit component. It's really simple to use. And for example, if I want to round the corner on this guy, I can say something like set the corner radius to 12, go ahead and give it a run. And we have a pretty nifty looking calendar. Now, obviously, we can't see that corner radius because it is, in fact, clear. So I'll go ahead and give this a system backgrounds, not pink, because pink is going to overlap with the pinks. Try this one more time. And there is our calendar. So that is UI calendar view. One of the oh so many new things that Apple has announced at WW2022. We've got lots more videos planned. What's new in Xcode. There are several new frameworks to dive into. So stay tuned for new videos. Drop a like if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments if you have any intention of using a calendar view. Tweet the video. Share it on the socials. Love to connect with all of y'all. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.